Howdy! Okay, so I figured I'd be nice and help you guys save money while playing guitar. Because people always ask me how do I afford this gear because I'm freaking brilliant, okay? Um, but this is a really good idea that I just recently started doing because since I play so much. Um, basically what I do is I start buying things that I'm going to always use in bulk because you save money that way. Um, but uh, I think a good deal is basically buying your guitar strings in bulk and not just for each guitar, I'm talking for every guitar. So, I mean, as you can see, I have Diodario's, I got 30 strings, I got all these other ones, um, but, um, <laughs> don't laugh at me, but, um, I think it's a smarter idea because for one, you're gonna pay, what's it, like four bucks or something for one pack, and you pay 30 for 10. And you're saving more money, you're saving the environment because you're not cutting up so many trees because all your pack of strings are just in one cardboard. And, um, I mean, you buy, and they have that thing at like, like Guitar Center and Cinematic, so if you spend over like 50 bucks, you get $10 back. If you spend 150, you get, I don't know, whatever. But, they're gonna get your money no matter what. But yeah, that's recently what I've been doing. And then, also, since not all of these are packaged in like air seal, I know so many people that are probably gonna comment and say, oh, you're wasting your money because they won't, they'll go stale or whatever. I got an air seal box, so I put them all in there. And they'll last me forever. And they'll sound just as good. Uh, another thing that saves me money, and I think is really brilliant that I've just recently done, is I bought string cleaner. It's a Dunlop, Dunloop, uh, Ultra Glide 65 string conditioner, cleaner and conditioner. Basically, every time you play, you rub this on and then rub it off. And then I always, for instance, you see this dirty, dirty rag. Every time I play, I'm like a clean freak, and like my friends play my guitars. I play and then I run my the rag under the strings and then I string it through and then get all the nasty skunk off and I use this and then I use this and these strings sound new forever um, and they last a lot longer I've noticed and they just all around just sound better they don't go so like just really not string like it's just thick and ugly um, but yeah that's a good tip that's tip number one I'll probably do a couple other videos I uh, hope that helps you can check out my band and subscribe if you like see ya